Did I tell you guys I called up, uh... <laughs> I, I called up Squaresoft, right? And I actually, like, wanted to, I wanted to complain to them about his Kingdom Hearts. I was, it was on a ride to Kitsune Con, so, like, I'm like... I, like, Google wasn't doing what it was supposed to do, so I told it to call fucking Square, and it did. Oh! And I got it, I just got some guy, and I was just talking to him about, like, how, like, you should hire me to fix your, your writing for this, because I know how to fix this. And he, and he, he, he was really cool about it, and he, I got him to laugh, and I got him to agree with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the game needed a lot of help. He's like, yeah, we, we get some calls sometimes about this game. I'm like, shit. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I, I think I just had... I think it's just gonna do that every time. Um, oh, okay. All right. So up until I think we want to do local arcade. Probably. So this is CTR. So you sure you guys watching this have probably seen a lot of people play this. This is this is our talking about this era of gaming. I don't know if you guys played a lot of games on the PlayStation era, but I played a lot of them. I played a good amount. So yeah, I, I was not many racing though. I play a lot of racing and it's probably one of my favorite genres, except for I don't like realistic racers that much because like I just get kinda bored. Like yeah. they tend to like be really graphically heavy and they also don't have a lot of substance to them usually. Like some of the well, cars. What if we're all family? If we're all family, then I, I just all I have to ask is when can I see you again? Oh like, whatever the fuck the song is. To you open Yeah, with, yeah, so yeah, 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 that that song. <laughs> That I was don't, way off pitch, but... <laughs> I, it gives a shit. Um, so, single race, I think, maybe. Because... Uh, Alright, so we got, we got a lot of I'm different... I'm gonna get Ruse tubes tied. <laughs> yeah, I made that joke to myself Fuck. when I played this. <laughs> that's a good joke. I fucking... I, that's why I made it. <laughs> I didn't think... Oh, hell yeah. Dude. Yeah, Dingo Canyon. Let's do Dingo Canyon. That's right. Remember when we played Crash 3 way back in like 2012, 2013 or whatever? I think so. And there was a dingo dial and I kicked its ass and I was yeah. really proud of that. Dingo dial's voice makes me smile. I love dingo dial. <laughs> uh, three laps. How many laps can you go to? Oh, no. Because my five. screen name on a lot of Medium. things is dingo because of that shitty comic I made. Easy. Mirror mode? No. I don't want to do mirror mode. Swag. All right. Okay, it does. I'm gonna play as this character I unlocked because it's a really good character. Oh, I might as well be Dingo Dial. Also, the carts aren't what change your stats. The driver is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's something to know. So like when I was a kid, like I didn't have the con like the game consoles. My brother did, so most of them were my brothers, and like fucking. Like, our pe we had the very- I don't know if people are gonna remember this, watching this, but like, there was a flaw with early PS1s where you had to turn it upside down to get the disc to read. Because the- 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 the-, the like, the laser wouldn't move unless it was upside down. So, it was really fun putting a game in and then flipping it over like a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time when my, uh, when my PS1 stopped like actually spinning the disc it like wouldn't catch it or something oh i think and I so i this. put a little bit of glue on the vandal hearts disc and i glued that and that was my dedicated vandal hearts console <laughs> for until i got a ps2 like a year or two later oh good lord that's amazing <laughs> it's like fuck it i'll just glue it down <laughs> i need a better engine yeah. Approaching sound barrier! I'm gonna put Crash's face on there. So I'm pretty hyped that they remade all these games. I, I actually own the, uh... Um... What the fuck you call it? The, the, the Spyro trilogy. Spyro is my fucking shit. Yeah. Was that was like, that was I like thought that came game. out on the Switch. I guess it was only on the PS4 so far? Yeah, I, I have it. It's super fucking good. Yeah. Like... Like, I, I, I've 100%ed uh, the first two. I haven't 100%ed the third one yet. And it looks fucking good. Th this game, I'm so glad they, like, went and uh, actually, like, did, cra like, CTR 2. They might yeah. do the other ones. They might do uh, a redo of um, Nitro Kart, which is also pretty good, I hear. Which I always, like, remember the advertising for Nitro Kart, so I forget that this one's just called Crash Team Racing. How look at the split screen. Look at this shit. So how do I go? Uh, it's the bottom button here so like the 
I don't know, you have a GameCube controller, so it's a little bit different. B. It's B. Yeah, okay. I was like, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm looking at your controller, like, uh, I don't know what you hit, <laughs> like, actually. Use uh, your weapon, I guess, well, would be A for you. If I were to go backwards, it would be... Let's try every button. This will be a learning Whoa. round. Okay. Well... Is there a drift? Yes, you can drift. You hit the shoulder buttons, uh, the upper shoulder button. Left to right bumper? Yeah, bumpers. Okay. And then you have to tend to initiate a drift, like a uh, power slide. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to hit the other bumper once your uh, meter gets up there. Okay. But you can change the style of your meter. Okay. I prefer the one that looks like that because it's super... By the way, since we're playing this, we should mention that Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transform exist, and oh, we should also then play that in the I future as well. I would fucking love to play that. I love that game. The new one, the new Sonic... I do have it, and I have four PC controllers, oh, so... Oh, fuck yeah. Do you, do, you, um, do you know about the new one that came out? Uh, no. There's a new one that came out. It's not Transform, but it's like, it has a team mechanic. So, like, you're on a co-op race with your friends and basically like you're all on one team and you can go up against a computer or other people online and like depending on where each player is in the race it like affects the other guys so okay. it's super cool it's like um like if this game is called crash team racing but that one's actually like a team racing game like you are on a team Okay. I know how that goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember? You remember the legendary? How could he forget the legend? The legendary that. betrayal. Well, cool. I'm on lap three now. How guy are you guys doing? Oh, me too. <laughs> well, I have three bros. <laughs> I just got on lap three. Seems like you guys have been there all my life. Ooga Booger. I remember I would call my uncle an Ooga Booga because of this game, <laughs> and he would tell me that he is not an Ooga Booga. No, he would tell me that he oh, is shit. an Ooga Booga, but he is not the Ooga Booga that I am currently looking for. <laughs> and oh, let's, just, uh, let's do a different track. And he would be right. I was looking for a different Ooga Booga. I just didn't know it at the time. Goddamn. Yeah. Always looking for the Ooga Booga you don't need. Yeah. It's true. Alright. This is probably one of my favorite let tracks, and so is this one. But I hated doing this one for the story mode. The story mode is... The fucking AI in the story mode is, like, the most ruthless piece of shit I've ever played in a kart racer. Like, they are awful. Let's do this one. Alright. <laughs> I keep it easy, you're gonna go up to like medium, so a little bit more like. Well, considering I didn't learn how to drift until like the midway point of that last. That's too easy. I, uh. I asked because I, because I was just, I'm, I'm just gonna do that to you. I'm a bit shite, you see. It's, it's fine. My gamer girl skills <laughs> are I'm fucking. It would be being a. I'm being a Belle Delphine over here. It's like, a oh yeah, fake like, gamer girl. Yeah, f fucking guy, the fake gamer girl thing. I fucking like cringe at shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Like, I mean, she's, I mean, like, she's not, like, I don't know. I don't fuck. know who, what the fuck. I don't, I, mean, like, I don't, I don't I know can't a lot speak about, to that. I don't know a lot about her, girl. All I know is that she had bathwater and she sold, sold to people who wanted it. It's like, all right, whatever. They consented to it. They want your fucking bathwater. Great. Why is this, why is this a fucking big meme? Like, <laughs> like, how many, like, 12 year olds were, like, fucking online and being like, oh, I could go build that feeds bathwater. Uh, Mom, I need your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> also, is there a way to back up? Like, yes, I think it's X, uh, Y for you, maybe? Okay. I don't know, actually, with your my layout's completely different. So yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got a game. game is my control. answer. Maybe it's the bottom triggers. I think that might bottom be triggers. it. I almost never back up, so I always forget what button it yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, there's usually not a point, but if I just go, like, straight into a wall, 
Like an asshole. Sometimes it helps to like take your hand off the gas, like not just not hit it. I found. Yeah. Fuck. I just got rainbow roaded and now I'm in eighth place. <laughs> this level kind of is like rainbow road actually, when I think about it. It's it's not super hard to handle it. It's not as bad as Rainbow Road is. And again, like the early Rainbow Road, like if you guys remember, like it us as dumb children, like it was not as hard as we thought it was. There's actually rails on the entire level. A lot of people bounce oh, out. You underestimate how stupid I still am. <laughs> but like they, uh, yeah, it's. It, I I thought it was interesting because I always thought it was like way harder than it was. It's like brings up a good shit. Which brings up like a good thing like we can talk about. Like I guess like like was there any video games that you guys like grew up and then like were way fucking easier and you were like, what the fuck is wrong with me as a child? Uh Mega Man X two. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Only because I played it really okay. Played it religiously, so fuck you. <laughs> oh, frick yeah, but you in particular. <laughs> There's a ton of games that I went back, like, now, and was like, wow, this is not as hard as I thought it was. Like, like, the Spyro Trilogy? Pretty much anything that I played to death. <laughs> yeah. A lot of RPGs are actually a lot easier than I remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Super oh, Mario hell yeah. RPG. Super Mario, yep. So much easier. Going back to it, it's just like, oh. We're pretty obvious what to do, you just, like... God! Damn it! <laughs> don't don't try to like even out all the stats. You just you, you kind of specialize everybody. Yeah, yeah. Everyone has a class and a job. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like when you even things out, it usually ends up not as good. Fuck! I'm like really not making that jump anymore. He's still gonna make it really good. I don't know what that top that clock did, but uh, it like fucks everybody else up. Like it screws up their controls and makes them slower. Yeah, it seems Fucking kind of uh, kind of slippery. Yeah. It, make, it makes you, like, just play bad. Like, it just auto-makes everybody play bad. Okay. Oh, fuck off! Uh. Shit. Also, if you get a TNT crate on your head, you can jump around until it comes off. Oh. And avoid the explosion. Alright, I'm getting a little pissed off! <laughs> or it's like, uh... Like Axl Rose. Alright, I'm getting a little fucking pissed off. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Rose is my waifu. <laughs> you can put that in your pocket. Keep your stupid comments <laughs> in your pocket. <laughs> also, if you have, like, max wumple fruit, it, like, makes all of your, like, items better, and also you're a little faster. And it makes your cum taste sweet. Oh. It does make your cum I didn't taste even notice weird. that was a thing. Yeah, okay. Dude, I realize every time that you've had Wumpa Fruit, like, your cum is way simpler. <laughs> like, I can't get enough of that yummy, yummy, yummy. Yep. That's probably fair. <laughs> That's a pretty good reaction to that. I'm really glad you... <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that you took, like, the most, like, like real, like, reasonable man, like, fucking response to that. Like, somebody says, is it yummy, yummy cummies, and you're just like, eh, that sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It does. I mean, am I crazy? I don't think so. Shit's I mean, shit. If shit's nummy and, yu and yummy, you might as well just fucking... Ah, uh, fuck! Oh, uh, since somebody took the orb at me? The fucking orb! Oh, the, the orb of, uh... I don't know what it's from. I think it's from, like, the second Crash game. I fucking, uh, the, the orb of Tiernanog. <laughs> Fucking, do you remember Mystic Knights of Turnalog? No, not Do you remember really. this shit? Fuck, never mind. I won't talk about it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Like, yeah, I don't really remember. <sighs> No, I was really excited because like that's like a fucking like fever dream. To me. That's like one of those. That's one of those things I encountered and experienced, and nobody else did. It's like it, you know what I mean. Like like you fucking. It's very rare to like run anybody in real life who's heard of that shit. Fucking Mystic Knights of Turnalog. It it was like uh, it what it was was it was like Power Rangers but like knights. Huh. Turns out, Power Rangers, mm, I don't know, 11 years after that, did that, called Mystic Force. And it wasn't better. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> ah, you bunch of grand pricks. <laughs> prick is so fucking grand right now. I have a grand prick. <laughs> Welcome to the Grand Pricks. Dragon Ball Grand, grand Pricks! <laughs> Delusions of Grand Prick. <laughs> Apparently, this thing just comes off. That's oh, real weird. Like, by design, because they have, like, the other GameCube thing uh, that you can attach. So you can have, like, both heads of that's, the thing. Uh, that's cool. Because. Having this little weird C nub is kind of stupid. Yeah, it, it's it, it's like uh, some people like it because like you flick. Because when you're playing Smash, you want to tell you want to. But you just but I can this. flick this thing. Well, yeah, so, but like what I'm what I'm saying is like it's a tactile thing. It's not like yeah, it, it's a it's a preference thing. So it's like I I personally like it when I'm playing Smash. It's just like like real fast. Yeah, and it just like and it doesn't catch on your finger like this thing fucking like catches. Yeah. So like like that that's that's why it's like that. Gotcha. It's for it's for it's for freaking dumbass like me. These are all levels I didn't get to play in the adventure mode, so I wanna do some well, of these. Here we go. Yeah. These are actually from uh hopefully, Metro Kart. Hopefully I can bowl with some bumpers. <laughs> what, what was that one? Where where is the bowl, bumper bowling? Uh no, it was just uh because I kept falling off. Oh, oh sure. Okay, no, I got you. I, <laughs> I know there's a level called that. I was like, I didn't I don't know. Just gotta go to the bowling alley, put the bowl. <laughs> yeah, put the bumpers, put bumpers up. up. Uh, which one was... This one looked really fucking cool, and I didn't get to experience it online that much, because, like... Do cool. it up. It's getting destroyed so too hard. Because, <laughs> like... I might change characters and just change the stuff. Yeah, you know, I might want to not be Dinga Dial, also. I'm gonna be Crash. Yeah, I was thinking of being Ryu, too, after this one. And I'm gonna be Crash in his future outfit. But he's not a neutral. I'm gonna teach the new game how to nurture. <laughs> how to nurture. I hope. I wish that guy made a Mario Maker level. Oh. Uh, Bulbasaur sent me a thing. Yeah. Um, about that guy, and it sounds just like the J Prunk story, oh, where he Jesus. just made this shitty thing, and he charged yep. him ten his friends ten bucks <laughs> for it. Oh and damn! And then he released it later. That's incredible. It's fucking incredible. So it's like it's like an alternate reality J Prunk. <laughs> yeah. So that's our that's our AR. AU. Cause man, I listened to Dutchie Blunts again. And man, that is really good. <laughs> That's some really good bad content. <laughs> so there's a very there's a very special kind of entertainment you get out of that kind of shit. Yeah. Cause just those lyrics are so good. Motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you as soon as <laughs> someone turns out the lights. <laughs> 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 this is what turns out the light J Prunk's gonna be like hovering above you. <laughs> He's gonna have a laser sight trained on you. I feel like Dingo Dial is just Bowser. <laughs> Kinda. I mean, yeah, yeah, I. I yeah, I suppose. He's kind of like Bowser. And maybe that's why he sucks so much. Bowser's great. Maybe that that's... Man alone. Maybe that's why I'm doing bad. You know what's really great? I, I started playing... Oh, fuck. I started playing uh, the Dr. Mario game on the uh, fucking Android. It's like free, but like... Fucking Bowser... You can like be a Dr. Bowser in that game. And there's something hilarious about a doctor who just prescribes fucking burning everything. <laughs> And that and the fact that like the costume they put him in, like his doctor costume, he has the oh. same shoes he had for his his, uh, his wedding outfit. Which tells me that he just was like, he went and got a PhD, because he was really bummed out about how that wedding went. <laughs> yeah. From Mario Odyssey. He's like, damn, I, I really thought she was going to choose me. Yeah. Uh, that ending was so fucking stupid. It was like fucking like opening the door for like like Mario to be like King Mario or some shit. Cause like fucking Nintendo's like, cause like okay, here's my here's my train of thought here. Cause like Nintendo announces he's not a plumber anymore, right? And then at the end of Mario Odyssey, they had Peach like getting forced to like make a choice between the two. And I'm like, that's kind of fucked up. But also like, all right, I guess maybe she's gonna pick Mario because he saves her all the time or something. And it's like, oh no, I picked neither one of you. And it was like, okay. 
And then, and then it's like Mario and Bowser are gonna be buddies after that because they were like, oh yeah, you both got jilted, so like you know, you know let's, let's be pals about this. And then, and then right the last second of that game, <laughs> they just have Mario jumping off Bowser's head to just strand him on the moon. It's like fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened! You learned nothing! <laughs> like, it shouldn't have made me mad, but it kind of did! <laughs> it was a silly thing to be- I think I got the shield at that point. Oh, no. Silly thing to be upset about, but it did make me a little bit upset. It wrestled me a little bit. It gave me a little bit of the... Fuck the... Your Timothys were... Yeah, my, my, my Timothys got a little oh bit- Oh my god. A little bit jiggled. Look at that shit! <laughs> like... Uh, missile. Couldn't do anything about it. Shit. 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 Okay. I, I bugged the TNT. Oh, shit. It was dynamite. Boom. 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 Oh, man. You know what else is really great? Uh, Uka Uka is voiced by, um, fucking Colonel Campbell. Really? Yeah, that's... Paul Ivy? Yeah, that's who did his voice. And he's in this again. In the in adventure mode. It's really fun hear, hearing his voice, and he also kind of sounds like Crylock a little bit. <laughs> nice. Makes you wonder if that was where they got their inspiration for like his design. Is that? Game over, mate. <laughs> is he saying game over or move over? Oh, you know. I'm I don't. Sure. I don't know because I hear move over, but I could be wrong. I thought he was saying game over, but now that you bring it up, I'm not sure. Oh fuck, I just like completely like... My brain had a like fucking... Bugged out. Well, that sucks. I was doing so great for most of it, and then at the end I'm back to 8th again. That's, that's just in like one moment. The one thing I will say about this kart racer that is very different from uh, Mario Kart is that the rubber banding AI, it doesn't, it's not as, is like, I don't want to say fair, but it's not as easy as Mario Kart. Mario Kart's rubber banding AI can get real fucking like, like, like easy to beat, like especially through the newer ones. Like this game definitely has a little bit more, uh, they're a little bit more spicy in this one. They, they're full of more bullshit. That and uh, the randomly generated objects, like, they, they give you. Like, when you're doing well, you still get some good shit sometimes. Yeah. Which is kind of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. It's fucking seven. It's all good. Fuck. I mean, I haven't <laughs> played in, like, like decades, so, like... Oh, I've never played this, actually. Oh, really? Okay. I ranked at this one a lot. Nice. I didn't play it a whole bunch, but I did rent it a couple times. Like, uh, I never got to play this. This is level. actually my first Crash Racer. So. Hell yeah! This is I a... did play Crash Bash. Was that good? I don't remember. Um, I remember we had fun and we were children, and so it was probably it was probably fine. Okay. Like, I I enjoy kart racers. Look at her weird ass face. Yeah, that's that's uh that's the, that's the girl from the first one. Yep. It's Tana. You know what's fun? She fucking. <laughs> they were uh, like, she's too sexy for this game. Yeah, tone we that gotta, shit down. We gotta like have her not be there, and then they made her like, uh, f whoever the gangster guy was. Yeah, pinstripe. She she yeah. hooks up a pinstripe, and then she like leaves the game. <laughs> it's really funny. funny. It's really funny. They Jessica rabbited her too much. <laughs> like at the like at the time, it seemed like a good idea. Yeah. I was making a game and somebody walked up and said, like, can I have a Jessica Rabbit that's, like, your, your fucking princess to save at the end? I'd be like, I'd be like hell yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 I OD'd too hard on Crash News. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And that time you actually had an accident in your car. Hey, your dad and, and said, and my, my your dad, dad sent sends you me, crash me. He says, like, I can't find any because crash Because kind of gets it. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. <laughs> That, you, know, you know, you know, okay. and it was like right when it happened, when all of us are like scared and shit. 
Like, okay, so, okay, I, I want to paint this picture, because, like, you guys were, like, I don't know if you, if you, any of you guys been in a big accident before? I have not. Uh, never. Okay, a big one. okay, all right, so I want to paint this picture for you. I have some, taken out someone's mailbox this, once. Here's, here's, here's. And, and uh, I looked at my brother when it happened, and I was like, we're going to hit that mailbox. <laughs> and he's like, what? Yep, I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here, here's the thing about being in a big fucking crash. Is you don't have time to yell whoa, um, <laughs> but like big, biggest biggest thing that's fucking crazy is like how how fast your fucking body just like takes control of everything, like your brain stops fucking working entirely. It's like all instinct. It's fucking crazy because like like I just was like like completely bracing myself to like die at that point, and fucking so. After my windshield and all my windows got blown out of my car, right? Yeah. And this is the middle of the winter, so if you, those of you who are watching this who are not from uh, the Midwest, the winter out here gets colder than the surface of Mars sometimes. And I was out there in the fucking cold. Like, actually. Yeah, like, for real. Like, that's a real thing that happens quite often. So, like, I, I'm fucking sitting in my car, no windows, right? Climate control is done because I have to turn my engine off because my engine is blowing exhaust and like fumes into the engine of the car behind me. Ugh. The engine of the car behind me was eating my ass, like literally eating my car's ass. And so I'm sitting there freezing. My hands are so cold, my phone doesn't work. Like I can't use the heat from my hand to get the touchscreen to register. God. So like there, I was doing that and I hit my head so I was like really fucking dazed. And I did black out for a second, so like I, I did get a concussion, and I was sitting there just fucking like, uh, like just just trying to think of what to do. So all I was doing was on my phone, just trying to contact people and get help, right? And and I've got people getting out of their cars and figure out what's going on. We're not sure who called the police or not, because the police weren't there yet, because the roads were had iced over so fast, it was like an instant that they became like completely frozen. And emergency people couldn't get there fast enough. Yeah, it was coming down pretty bad, too. Yeah, it was also snowing it was, it was super like, hard. It was, like, snowing and wet. Yeah, well, because, like, the, cause like what happens is the snow, your oh, exhaust yes. melts it, and it freezes right away. Yeah. And it, be, and it creates, like, a black ice situation very fast. So, like, I was only going, like, I think, like, 40, 40 miles an hour or 35 or something, and, like, my car wouldn't stop. Like, I lost no speed, and I crashed in the car in front of me, and then, like, I get hit by a car behind me, I get knocked around... And I'm sitting there freezing, and there's pe strangers coming up to me and asking if I'm okay and shit. And all this stuff is happening, and it's like everything's moving like slow and fast at the same time. And I, <laughs> I get a fucking Matt, my friend Matt, who I go to conventions with. He finds out I was in an accident, and he photoshops very quickly my car being sit on by bubble bass from fucking SpongeBob. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> and, he say, and he says, like, Ryan, I'm so sorry. I hope that doesn't really make you feel bad. I'm like, nah, dude, I really needed to laugh right now. And <laughs> I was like, his fucking bubble bath is crushing my car with his fucking giant ass. And I still have the image, and it's, like, in our chat history. And then your dad sends me, like, <laughs> fucking that crash meme thing. And I'm like, like, see, like, that's the thing. It's like my entire life I'm, like, a fucking big funny man. So, like, I should have seen this coming the second I, like, get into, like, a life-threatening situation. People just go, yo, I got him. Yo, it's, meme. <laughs> it's meme time. It's meme time. I'm not even mad about it. It's just, like, I just didn't realize that it would be like this. <laughs> 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 I just didn't think it would be like that, but it's so funny. Cause, cause that day I was like scared and like I didn't know like what to do exactly. All I knew is that like you were going to be taken to the hospital. I thought I was. Yeah, or that that's what I thought too. Uh but like <laughs> I I was running like a one off of like uh D and D and it, some offshoot of D &D yeah 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 no, you're good and um, and we were like and and so like this whole time I'm running this kind this like kind of phoned in pirate adventure and I'm like shit I really shouldn't be here <laughs> <laughs> like I'm glad you guys came and got me yeah I, yeah 